Yeah, obviously, uh, this is the Battle of Britain airfield. This is RAF West Hampton. It, you know, the reason we're all standing here is because of that airfield. And of course, we should remember squadron leader Tony Gage as well this weekend, who just died last week. And it was Tony who suggested to my grandfather, hey, why didn't they have a little look at this, try their cars out, just as he did with his brother, and maybe it'd make a great racetrack. My grandfather came down here with John Cooper and a couple of Cooper 500s, and, um, and they tore around and um, decided, actually they went the other way, I think, to start with, they decided it would make a great racetrack, and so here we all are. So, you know, it, 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 it's, an amazing, it's an amazing thing, really, the way, it's, uh, the way it started, the way he ran it till 66, the fact that nobody then destroyed it, it just sat here, and then we were able to put it all back together uh, in 98. This is, you know, the whole place has always just been about a love of cars and, um, you know, enthusiasm for the sport. Well, Goodwood's interesting, in that, I guess, in that you know, we have all these sports and they were all just started by keen members of the family over the last 300 years. And you know, my grandfather obviously played a big part in that, but, you know, horse racing, 1801, cricket, 1702, my God, you know, uh, golf, 1914. My grandfather started the racetrack in 48 just because he, you know, he loved cars. He had this track sitting here from the war. He'd been a very keen pilot, good racing driver before the war at Brooklyn's, excellent, won some really important races. You can hear Prentice on the shop floor at Bentley in the 1930s, that was really unusual for someone in his position. So he was a grassroots kind of guy and very un, un pompous and, uh, and he just wanted a race. So this was the first race meeting that took place uh, before the war, uh, sorry, for, first race meeting to take place after the war in 1948, September 48. And amazingly, the first revival in 1998 was 50 years to the day uh, of that first meeting. Well, I love breakfast logs. I'm not under too much pressure for once. So it's not like obviously our huge events. This is really just a very relaxed, fun thing to do on a Sunday morning. And the idea is just to bring some great cars here, some uh, like-minded people, for everyone just to share their experiences and uh, enjoy walking around the circuit, <clears throat> enjoy this beautiful place. We're, we're very lucky. And for me, I'm just, I'm just like all of them. I bring my children down, we wander about, we chat to people, we find out how they feel about what we're doing. And it's a really, really uh, lovely experience for everyone. Obviously, every, every breakfast club has a different theme. Now, I can't say I've got a car for every theme. And actually, my darling daughter who comes with me nearly every time, whenever we head down to the garage in the morning, she says, oh, which car are we going to take? Have you got one this morning? Well, she said today, it's Thoroughbred Sunday. What are you going to bring? Well, I've just bought another lovely Lancer Aurelia, which is just the sort of car my grandfather would have had, 1955 car. So I thought that was probably Thoroughbred, thoroughbred Sunday enough. But um, I don't have one for everything. No, I'd like to think I do. Don't tell us you bought the Lancia just for this event. I bought it just for this Sunday, yeah. <laughs> It'll be going tomorrow.